Is the African-American vote up for grabs in the 2024 presidential race? Democrats have traditionally enjoyed overwhelming success with black voters here in Wisconsin. But will that change with former President Trump? Chief political reporter Charles Benson talked with Dorothea Macon and Travis Clark for their take on the race. In a March visit to Milwaukee, President Biden said his policies are helping African-Americans. Look, folks, with your help, we cut black and Latino child poverty in half because of the child tax cut through my American Rescue Plan. At a rally in Racine, former President Trump claimed his immigration and southern border policies are winning over the black vote. That's why the black population, Hispanic population, is voting for me at levels that nobody's ever seen before in this country. A variety of polls show Biden remains the overwhelming choice with black voters, but Trump has gained support compared to his 2020 campaign. I sat down with Dorothea Macon, a Milwaukee Democrat, and Travis Clark, a former Republican congressional candidate in Milwaukee, to get their take on the presidential race. I first met Dorothea at a Biden-Harris event in Wauwatosa, who raised concerns about a second Trump presidency. We watched my interview with Trump when he made this claim. Nobody has done more for the black person, for the black people, than anybody, than me, since Abraham Lincoln. I really don't think that his track record has shown that he's really concerned about African Americans. And I'm not saying that Democrats do all of the right things. There's a lot of work to be done. Dorothea says, Biden's big investment in infrastructure to remove lead pipes in Milwaukee and his effort to cut child poverty and reduce college debt are real positives in the black community. On Trump's crime plan, she worries about what she sees as just a more police policy and not a broader approach. Crime is a concern for everyone. I'm a little concerned that he puts the onus on police officers. Travis is undecided in 2024, but worries about Trump's call for police immunity and the lack of real criminal justice reform. Do you think President Biden has addressed it? I don't President, no, neither one. In order for us to feel what, what criminal justice reform really needs to look like, it's talking to those individuals who've been through it. Basically, yeah. like myself. Travis served time for cashing stolen checks 30 years ago and is passionate about second chances for convicted felons. Trump says his opportunity zones aimed at creating economic investment in low-income neighborhoods and financial support for HBCUs, historic black colleges, have benefited the black community. But as far as Trump's bold claim, Travis says there's still room for improvement from both candidates. I think that he has some great... Uh, things that for black African Americans that he's doing within his, his policy that would be great for us. In Milwaukee, Charles Benson, TMJ4 News.